whole milk, skim milk, chocolate milk, fruit juice. What do they all have in common? Well, they all come to us in a paperboard carton. One that's coated with a special plastic so that it won't leak. Cartons keep milk and juice tasting fresh. <sighs> and delicious. And when we're finished with them, we just throw them in the trash. The problem is, there's too much trash. And it's becoming a big problem. Hauling it away is expensive. It's also getting harder to find places to haul it to. Our landfills are filling up. Ten years from now, half of the landfills in use today will be closed. But we can always open up new landfills, can't we? Maybe. But not many of us want to have a landfill close to where we live. In 1978, there were 14,000 landfills in the U.S. How many are there today? More than 20,000? 14,000? Or less than 6,000? Close to half of the trash we send to the landfill is made of paper. So if we put less paper in the trash, we won't need as many landfills. Many of us already save newspapers for recycling, and that's a good start. But we've got to do a lot more. With your help, we can work a little recycling magic. we can turn your used milk and juice cartons into new paper. It's easy. When you're finished with your carton, pour out any milk or juice left inside and drop it in the box with the recycling symbol on it. If everybody pitches in, fewer cartons will go to the landfill and a lot of paper will be saved and used again. How many cartons will be saved each day in an average school? 100, 600, 1,000 or 2,000? Why save cartons? Because they can be easily separated from other trash and collected. Cartons are picked up several times a week so that any milk or juice left inside doesn't spoil and turn sour. Once they reach the recycling plant, the cartons are cut into small pieces thoroughly washed and pressed into bales. Then they are ready to go to the pulp mill. At the pulp mill, the bales of cut cartons are mixed with water in a vat that works like a giant blender. Making the cartons into pulp this way is simple and doesn't harm the environment. No chemicals are added. All water used is filtered and reused, so none is wasted. The plastic coating that's washed off the carton can be reused, too. It can be made into flower pots and other plastic items. After mixing, the pulp is formed into wet bales. Some of the pulp will be sent to paper mills, where it will be mixed with other kinds of recycled paper and made into printing paper for magazines and books and fine paper for writing. Other bales of pulp will be made into boxes, paper towels, and face tissues. Can soft face tissues really be made from the cartons you throw away? Sure they can. Some experts say it's just as good as paper pulp made from fresh cut trees. One school can recycle about one ton of cartons every five months. Think of how many thousands of tons would be saved if all schools took part. How much space does one ton of paper take up in a landfill? As much as a full-size bike, a small car, a railroad boxcar. Everyone needs to pitch in. Cartons will be collected from schools, colleges, retirement and nursing homes, wherever people will take a second to empty their cartons and drop them in the recycling box. You can bring cartons from home, too. Just be sure to rinse them out first. Remember, as more cartons go in here, fewer will go in here. Cartons that are needed look like this. Boxes with metal foil and plastic bottles won't work. If you will take just one minute every day to help, 
we can turn tons of trash into things we need. That's recycling. And it works like magic.